Y'all, this was the episode that I've been waiting for. You know, we Nene had went live and was like, y'all gotta watch the season finale. Everybody been going on, watch what happens live. You gotta watch the season finale and the reunion to see what happens. Um, this was a very interesting episode and we gonna talk about it. I had some music playing in the other video, but it it wasn't right. My mood wasn't right, so I had to come back in here and redo it. You know, I've been up since 7.30 this morning, but it is what it is. Marlo, you need to stick with the motherfucking boss. That blonde or that blonde wig you had on, that blonde bob you had on, it was cute. And it made your skin look. You was glowing with that wig on. I really enjoyed it. Stick to the vibe, sis. That was a cute moment for Marlo and Nene. And I enjoyed them. And I guess that's what we're going to be seeing next season. So, Cynthia and Candy meet up. Let me just say congratulations to Cynthia for getting this Seagram's deal. Um, then Candy got to talking about Porsche, not going to Portia's baby reveal. See, these girls is so like, oh, you don't support me, I don't support you. Like, it would seem to me a baby reveal would outweigh all the other stuff that Portia hadn't been to, you know. Y'all hoes just, y'all be like, I'm happy for you, and it's like, y'all comment on each other's Instagram posts, but are y'all really happy for each other? Like, I'm like, Nene, we co-workers, bitch. Like, seriously. That's all y'all is to me. Take Let's get the cast back to when y'all used to go to each other house and have wine and shit. Like, what happened to those days? Okay. Now hearing Nene talk about Eva's living situation on the season finale. Bringing it up and like kicking about it with Marla. I can get how Eva would be upset. I'm, we gotta watch the after show tonight too. And Nene's about to go live in a few minutes, and I'm going to watch that, too. You know, here's Nene's, Nene, Nene's new thing. I've noticed it. She brings stuff up, and she lets Marlo say what she thinking. It's almost if she be like, okay, Marlo, come around here to my house, and we're going to come over here. We're going to talk about this, and you're going to be shady. Like, that's what it is. Now, let me say this. This whole Nene and Kenya thing is very interesting because I remember right before the season had started, you know, Nene has said, you know, something like, no matter what, I fuck with Kenya and that Bravo sucks for not having Kenya on this season. So I, I was like, okay, so all is well. I guess they hadn't filmed the season finale by then yet, so I don't know. Um. I didn't think she would have been so, it would have equivalated into her being so upset, but I guess it's a matter of how it happened and what went down. We're going to talk about it too. Um, so Cynthia is talking about how, you know, she sits now, she's sitting now with Candy and she's like, I just don't want to be in the middle of it. And she's like, so here's my thing. So I remember Cynthia saying, I'm inviting them both to the party. You know, she said, I'm inviting them both to the party. So, if you said that you were inviting them both to the party and you didn't want to be in the middle of the drama, I guess Nene was kind of like, I guess you could have called me, you know, kind of how, like, you wanted Nene to call Eva and let her know you was inviting that ghetto-ass, ratchet-ass, drunk girl that got into it with Eva. So... I get it, but I'm not playing sides because I'm I'm gonna get in any ass tonight. Um Eva got them cameras to come down at her house. She said, Okay, let me get a camera a little bit of my house and you know let y'all know that my house ain't told the hell up and I don't live in a busted ass house. Which even if she do, it's her busted ass house and she married, so it is what it is. Um Eva talking about, you know, here's my thing with Eva talking about how she, she got to protect everywhere, you know, where she live and all this kind of stuff. But 
I be seeing Eva posting about where she is on Instagram. I mean, I don't know if she took the picture and then she posted after she leave, but she do be posting where she be at. So I'm a little confused about is he really stalking you like that? Are you using it for a storyline? Because he's crazy. I don't know. I really don't know, but it's it's very interesting that it's something Eva's hiding and something's not adding up because you were she was very embarrassed last episode and she was kind of like like she wasn't like oh I'm not doing that with them yeah you didn't want to do it because you was embarrassed and that friend won't lie on you because don't know no friend that's been your friend for years ain't lying on you they know all your tea bitch okay all your teeth. That's why I ain't falling out my best friend. We might gradually stop fucking with each other, but we ain't falling out. We ain't having no misunderstanding because you ain't gonna spray my tea in the media. Not that I wouldn't spray my own because ain't no bitch gonna use my own tea against me, bitch. Um, I was glad when Marlo told Nene to sit down and talk with Cynthia. I'm, ba I'm going backwards, but I was really glad when Marlo had told e Nene to sit down and talk with Cynthia. Cynthia. You know, Nene kind of has this, and I get that she's going through a lot right now. But she can be so bitter, so if you fuck with somebody else, you not for me. And it's like, it don't even be like that, Nene. You ever had some, somebody that if, if it's not about them, they think, if it's not about them, they got to make it about them? Like, oh. Mm, you know she made a post it was about me like bitch you ain't the only person that somebody dislikes you know what I'm saying like, I hate people mm, she made that post about me I know it was <laughs> I know it was I know she was thinking about me when she made that post and it's just like girl nobody was really thinking about you you really not that important but Nene you know you want to be the HBIC and that's I, 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 to me and I've, I've sat back and I said Nene has had people in her life tell her that she was never going to amount to anything and she overcompensates how she feels and she's kind of like I'm the baddest bitch I'm this bitch and I'm this and I'm that because people have told her she never was going to be anything um Portia and it's baby reveal It didn't turn out it didn't turn out to look the way Portia wanted it to be, but she had her close friends and family around her to support her, and that's really all that matters. Whether you have what you wanted. Y'all can see all my cups back there. I drink a lot of water and juice. That's my little Bojangles cup, and that's my motherfucking damn my table back there is a mess. So don't judge me. We talking about these hoes, not my table, but my table is a mess back there for anybody that's looking in the background. Yes, it's messy, and I'm going to clean it up later on when this video over, but we ain't talking about that right now. Moving right along. Um, Nene not showing up to the baby reveal. I was like, Cynthia, you know, I thought Portia was like your little sister. Then you talking about some, you seen later on, you talking about some Portia don't support you, and it's like, When has Portia not supported you? Like, Nene, you just find a little ounce of somebody to be mad about. Like, Nene, got, Portia got her own. She's pregnant. She got a whole man that she got to worry about. And you sitting up here talking about something. She's not there for you. Like, from my understanding, when the season... Girl, my computer broke, y'all. My bad. From my understanding, when the season started... Was Portia not the first girl to, like, go and visit with Nene and all that? Then Portia got... Portia was like, I just want to be here for Nene. Then Portia got pregnant, and she do what everybody do. She focused on herself, as she should. Like, Nene, you just be so damn, like, oh... You don't... You're one of those people that don't understand that people got their own stuff going on in life, and it's like damn girl like it's really not that deep like i just don't understand it um and it felt good kind of not to have your bitterness there and you throwing shade because it was a really good moment it really felt good it was it was a really good moment um 
So Cynthia's event. Everybody came ready to have a good time. You know, everybody walks in, they dancing, and I'm looking like everybody's looking good. You know, I will say this. I didn't really like Cynthia's look at the her little event. But Cynthia is a very beautiful woman, but she just she looked good at Portia's little baby reveal. But I was I didn't really care for the look she had at at um her own event. But I mean she's beautiful. She had her man there. I ain't got no man, so it is what it is. Um in walks Kenya. And I'm gonna say this. My face lit up when I saw Kenya. And I was kind of like, well, because I miss Kenya this season. Honestly, it, 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 Kenya, I'm going to say this. Nene carried the show on her back for like four to five seasons. Then Kenya carried it from like season six to season nine. And Nene knows that. She's heard that. Kenya came in and picked up the scraps that Nene, that when we was getting, Nene was getting boastful and big, and I'm this, I'm the queen of that. Kenya came in and shook shit up. And Nene knows that, but we're gonna, we gonna talk about that. Um, did y'all catch when Cynthia hugged When she hugged um, Mike and she was like, I'm supposed to pretend that I didn't know Kenya was coming. Then she's kept saying that she invited Kenya. And then Candy kind of bought... Um, I do remember an interview that Candy had that she said that Kenya did come as a surprise to Cynthia. But it just didn't seem like no surprise to me. But they can call it what they want to call it. I don't know. But Cynthia has the right to have whoever she wants to have at her events. Um, you know, and Nene's just so unbothered. So bothered at the party by Kenya. All the devil. And, oh, yeah, she looks good. Mm -mm, her face all toe up like... What was it to you that Kenya was there to support Cynthia? And it was just like, oh, my God, the moment the season finale wasn't going to be about you and people was going to be talking about Kenya and you didn't know about it, so you didn't know how to prepare. That's what you really was mad about. You didn't know how to show up and she caught you off guard. Like, Nene, you always show your hand and you just be looking so jealous and so bitter. Like, and it really shows. And I don't even know if you really are jealous or bitter, but it just be like, damn, girl. Like, but I'm going to say this. I'm glad Cynthia stood her ground this time around. And it really felt good to see Kenya and Portia hug it out. And they was just like, I'm over the drama. Nene, you was the only one that was mad at the whole at the damn party. The only one. Um... I was very surprised to see Candy sit there and tell Nene, like, you know, I want y'all to get along because I love you and I love Kenya. I was really surprised to see Candy say that like that, like really surprised. But now we go months forward. The season is over. Candy's not an ass kisser, and I do respect that about her. But it was nice to see her tell Nene, you know, like, get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to be on good terms. And that felt really good. That was a really good moment to see Candy do that. But Nene just be mad. It ain't no need of y'all saying anything about it. And they know how Nene is these days. Like, she just be, like, on her bullshit and be mad about anything that she can. And to me, Nene keeps saying in her lives, you know, this is a show. Somebody got to be mad. Somebody got to be mad. And I guess this is just... I don't know. I guess it's just Nene's season to take an L this season. Everybody does have a season. Like I said, last season it was Kenya. The season before that it was Portia. The season before that it was Kenya, I believe, or Sheree. I don't know. Um, so Cynthia, Nene, and Tanya and Candy sit now. Then Nene tells Cynthia something is different.
to me, Cynthia has been a good friend to Nene. A very good friend. Even I can only imagine what goes on without the show. It would seem to me that since Cynthia has been for you this season, you just be like, you know, whatever. So Kenya came around. She ain't even on the show. So she invited Kenya to her little thing. What is it to you, Nene? Now, let me say this. I get it from both sides. I understand what Nene is saying. Nene is saying, you know, like I said earlier, I would have appreciated if you would have called me. But would you really? Or would you not have just, would you just have not came to the party? Because you that petty enough not to just come to the party. And like, and like Cynthia said, I can be friends with who I want to be friends with. Oh, yes, you can. And it's just like, Okay, so Kenya showed up to one event. The moment wasn't about you. Everything can't be about you all the time, Nene. It just can't. Like, everybody was having a good time. It was a season finale. Everything was supposed to be good. And this was the most darkest season finale I've ever seen. I've never seen a season finale of any show end on a bad note. I don't think I have. I've never seen a season finale of a show in on a bad note besides maybe last season of Basketball Wise, but that was at the reunion. Um, and Nene, it's not like Cynthia. You talking about some, oh, you didn't say nothing to her about the social media rant she went on. And it's not like Cynthia let Kenya talk about you in her face. You know what I'm saying? It's not like she let Kenya talk about you in her face. She posted some shit about social media. You post she Kenya posted some shit on social media. You post shit on social media and it is what it is. And Cynthia was probably like, you know what? I'm not getting in the middle of that because both of those are my girlfriends. What would you do if Marlo and Cynthia went at it? You one-sided, Nene. You one-sided. You one-sided. You so one-sided, and then you just ready to end your friendship behind this petty-ass bullshit. And you know, y'all know I fuck with Nene heavy. I fuck with Nene the long way, and I probably still will, but in this moment right here, I can't ride with her because she's wrong, and she's being bitchy. She's being stupid irritating me and it's just like damn Nene like you really couldn't have been there for her and you had to make Cynthia's little like you could have been happy for your friend like that night like you walking around all bitter you know and what really made me mad what really did it for me at that event was when Cynthia had called Greg up to say something nice about him and then you talking about some nah we good don't go over there Greg like she was trying to be nice and extend an olive branch and you was already mad because she let Kenya on the mic like she tried to reach out an olive branch to you and she thanked you for coming you were on her mind like Kenya just came over there and got on the mic she didn't ask Kenya to get on the mic but you and this God complex you got. I don't know who told you you was the Beyonce of the girls, but you want to be this HBIC. And here's my thing. And here's how you can always tell a bitch with low self-esteem or she don't really know who she is and she trying to pretend to be who she want to be. Because when you the real HBIC, another bitch can walk in a woman. She don't phase you. Whether you beefing with her or not. But you let people dim your light so much, Nene, and you did this before. You've done it with Kim. You've done it with Sheree. You are. You've done it with Kenya many a times. Oh, I gotta go pee, Kenya. You you done it. The first person you did it with first was Candy. I'll never forget when Candy came on the show for the first time, and you was real bothered by Candy talking about some she's so ghetto. Yeah, but Candy had her motherfucking shit together. She was the businesswoman, and she was known, and she didn't kiss your ass, and it it bothered the hell out of you. And that's why you and that's why you don't really fuck with Candy like that, cause Candy don't kiss your ass. You just always look like that. You really look like the common denominator. This season and I've rolled with you so many seasons after season after season after season I can't ride with you this season right here Nene you wrong I always used to be like the girls is out to get you but now it's like this season right here it's you you the problem 
You have to watch this and see that you're the problem. Like, you had to blow that situation and you want to end your friendship with Cynthia behind that petty-ass bullshit because she invited her friend that she want to invite to her party. It was a it was a really good place. They wanted it, it was Kenya want they wanted Kenya to be on the show and show Kenya in a good light and being pregnant and married. What was wrong with that? You got a peach. Kenya don't. What's your deal? And you really mad and hot about something that Kenya said on social media. Who cares? Who really cares? But I will say this. What was that phone call that Nene was playing when Nene, when Candy said, I'm mic'd up. They cut that out. I'm guessing they cut it out. And I'm, Nene's about to go live and I'm going to figure. I, I believe it's, 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 I don't know. I do think that Cynthia didn't know that Nene, that Kenya was coming to that party. And I feel like maybe she could have called her, called Nene and told her, hey, you know, Kenya's going to be here just so a heads up. I want to be a good girlfriend to you. Because, you know, Cynthia is a good, I feel like she is a good girlfriend. I ride with Cynthia. I want a friend like Cynthia. Cynthia's like, she may be wishy-washy, but when she ride for you, she ride with you. She's a good person all around to me, but I don't know. And now that this is came full circle and after the reunion, I don't know what's... I, I, I commend Cynthia for not being messy and not going on live or not going on social media, not going to no interviews or saying anything bad about Nene. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I did like how Cynthia said... You know, me and me and Nene don't argue about more more worse stuff than this. I feel like I do know that uh, after last season, the 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 mess that Kim and Nene got into, Nene went on watching What Happens Live a little ways after that. It was like you know, uh, Kim did send me flowers or whatever, and she was like, oh yeah. Uh, you know, the the ball is always in Kim's court if she wants to be friends again. So, I, Nene basically, I I think Nene was. I wouldn't be surprised if they all called each other and was like, you know, what well, we gotta spice this motherfucking season finale up because this shit or somebody the producers was like somebody gotta take a L at the end of this season. That's what it seems like to me because I don't I don't understand how. That's what I'm gonna say. We gonna say that the producers made this up. Cause I hope Nene ain't really mad about no shit like that. And I'm about to see her on live and y'all go watch her live. Um, I'm finna get in here and lay down. Y'all drop down in these comments and let me know what y'all think. Okay? Okay. Um, I don't even see the point of the reunion cause we kinda like already know what's gonna happen even by everybody being on live and been telling what's gonna happen. But we shall see. The season finale kind of did it for me as to far as what. I don't, I'm not hyped for the reunion, but I guess when the time rolls around, I will be. Y'all drop down in these comments, subscribe. Um, I might get in here and do Married to Medicine. LA. Is it LA or is it Houston? LA tomorrow. Them hoes just, I, I got to sit down and watch it because they ain't doing it for me the way they should be. But I'm going to sit down here and watch it. Bye.